Strickland versus McDavid. You met Miss Ryan mentioned it earlier. Monaghan out with a lower body injury, so the Flames lines are all over the place. There's Connor Mackey back in the lineup. First home game as a Flame. Third overall in the NHL. Shot from the line got through. Riddick able to make the save. He took it up high on that slap shot by Bouchard. Made sure that it wasn't going to interfere and screen him. It's nice movement by the goaltender. Kara able to dump the puck in deep. Hannafin goes back to it, puts it to the corner, it's picked off, fired back towards the front of the goal, that's tipped high. Larson settles it down with a shot, Riddick able to make the save. It's the puck down the boards, now he'll head back and feed it to the line to Nurse. Across to Barry, fakes, in deep now, Barry put it in front, they score, Paul Yarby from point blank range, makes it 1-0 Edmonton. Edmonton. Special entry here, you see Ryan Nugent Hopkins eventually gets it back, and nice little hesitation move there by Barry, and look how wide open Pugliarvi just kind of sits in that pocket in between defenders. None of the Flames really have a stick or a body, and that's just easy pickings for Pugliarvi behind Riddick. Catch up, Hannafin broke it up. Mangiapane drops it back to Tanev. Now Kachuk with a bit of room, and a shot stopped by Smith. Got the glove on that, and a slap shot from Matthew Kachuk. It feeds it in front, Mangiapane can't get a clean shot away. That's deflected, a stick broke as well. A lot of things going this season, Cassie, up to six goals on the year. In fact, the last Oilers defenseman to have six goals 18 games in was Paul Coffey. Here's Mangiapane with a chance, and Smith able to make the save as Nurse comes back to tie up the stick. Well, Andrew Mangiapane gets a good chance here, a little giveaway by Pujarvi. He's looking for Barry, but he was covered and unable to get it out of the zone. Got right off the draw by Mangiapane, but Darnell Nurse came across to block that and take it away. Well, there's dangerous shorthanded. Carroll with a shot that's turned away by Riddick. That was a good look for Jujar Kara on the penalty kill. Johnny Gaudreau back to the line to Rasmus Anderson. Gaudreau, Kachuk. Here's Lindholm. Smith makes the save. Rebound. Caught up in traffic. Nurse is on his knees. The puck's in there somewhere. And finally, Smith is able to hang on. Connie, but he helps out. And a beautiful little cross. -eye. We'll go right back at it tomorrow night in Edmonton. Second of ten meetings. Tonight, back on off the James Neal feeds it up the right side. Haas back to Neal all the way across. Tipped on goal and a pad save there by Riddick who got the left leg up to stop that chance for Cuckoo. And here's the player Cuckoo chance earlier, and you can call in for it. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. As the Oilers have a 1 0 lead, approaching the seven minute mark of the second. Flames look to answer. Here's Backlund with a shot, and Smith made a nice save on a point blank chance for Backlund. Fan on that shot. On Japani in on the four check, and he just creates this turnover here. You can see McDavid and Barry stuck in behind the net. It leaves Kachuk and Backlund wide open. He's opening up a little bit here in the latter stages of the second period. Here we go. James Neal. Ahead to chase on, back to Neal, in deep out front, pinballs around, they score the rebound! Chipped over the pad of David Riddick, and that's Gaetan Haas who gets his first of the season and makes it 2-0 Edmonton. Fourth line, if you will, for the Edmonton Oilers, just a good offensive zone entry, and you can see right here, Riddick's got the right pad there, but the momentum of Hannafin coming back, trying to block that pass across, just kind of pushes him out of position and he can't make that second right leg save again. And just unlucky for both Hannafin and Riddick. And a nice job by Haas to stop. And it's been depth scoring. Doing a lot of the damage recently for the Oilers. Riddick makes a great save on the rebound. Puck is still loose. Added into the corner. Rasmus Anderson there for Calgary. Long pass, trying to spring Gaudreau. He couldn't settle it down. Bounces in. He'll chase into the corner. Here's Gaudreau working it out front with a pass. Anderson scores! Rasmus Anderson cuts the lead in half and makes it 2-1. And watch this little move here that he puts on Tyson Berry. Loses his edge, goes down, and just a heads-up play seeing Anderson coming down that seam. But man, what a move. And that's a big goal for the Flames. You know, the Oilers. First the back-to-backs, as Ryan mentioned, in Edmonton tomorrow. McDavid against Backlund in the face-off circle. Period three underway. Tanev fires the puck in. 
Seidel slows it down, cuts to the slot, plays it back to Larson. Adam Larson with a pass out front. Great save by Riddick. Came across to Rob Dreisaitl as Riddick sprawled to make that stop. And he redeems himself. Watch this save. Gets the blocker on. Chucks in front. Mangiapane in the slot. Johnny Gaudreau back to the line to Anderson. Feeds it over to Lindholm. Lindholm shoots off the post. Archibald pressure. Flames had some looks on that power play. Kachuk thought that was in, but it's off the post. He tries to get there. Can't keep it in. And it's shot down the ice as that'll do it. The Edmonton Oilers took a 2-1 lead into the second intermission and then steer it home for a victory in round two of the Battle of Alberta.